What's going on, everybody? Welcome to today's video. Thank you so much for stopping and checking out the channel. I really, really appreciate it, and I hope you don't mind today's format. But I wanted to have the information in front of you so you could see what I'm looking at here. I wanted you to see some of these numbers. Today, we are covering top five and a few honorable mentions public hunting places in Texas. Now, this is going to be primarily, there's, there's a few little caveats to this. These are public hunting areas, but these are by permit and draw system. Really not terribly hard to get drawn for some of these areas to hunt. Outstanding areas to hunt across the state of Texas. You can be a non-resident and apply for some of these tags. Now in Texas, we have probably over 60 public hunting areas, a few national forests, but for the purpose of today's video, we're gonna stick with some of these really, really special memory-making public hunt areas that you can apply for and draw. I'm going through my public hunt permits this year, putting my applications in, and, and I've probably applied for every single one of these areas. But just so you know, I have not personally hunted every single one of the areas on this list. This is simply based on statistics, what I know about these regions of Texas, what I know about the success that comes out of these areas, and the data that's right in front of me. So we got all this put together, really cool information for you to see. So let's get back to the point. What I've done here is highlighted each particular area with a certain color. And so you have area, percentage of success, and then I highlighted the bucks because we want to see the buck numbers. You know, it is what it is. Let's just be honest. You can look at the doe or antlerless numbers right in the next column. But look again, these are in no particular order. But if I was going to pick a number one, I made sure to put it at the top. And that is Chaparral Wildlife Management Area. Now, this area is out of Catula, Texas. You're looking at over 12,000 acres of hunting land. And look at some of these percentage of success rates. Now, if somebody told you, you could go get a tag, go hunting, and you're looking at 60%, 45% success rates, things like that, you would be all over that in a heartbeat. And I certainly am. Now, but look at some of these numbers coming out of Chaparral. From 1210 to 1213, 13 bucks. 1216 to 1220, 19 bucks out of 26 permits. 60% success rate, five bucks from 1126 to 1128. It's kind of wild to see those buck numbers coming out in December like that. But you look at some of these numbers, incredible. And there's some great deer herd out south of San Antonio. A lot of deer out there, very good herd. I've hunted in that area before, just not in some of these public areas. Really great hunting. I mean, once in a lifetime type of experiences. For those who have been out there before, you can attest to that. But these numbers are just incredible. Great hunt, great location to put on the list. So we're looking at number two. Again, in no particular order, we're looking at Eugene Howe Wildlife Management Area. Now, I slid this in here because look at some of these success rates. 50%, 80%. Now, we got a little goose egg in here, but we'll call that for what it is. That was a low permit time. We're talking about archery deer. 50% success rate, three bucks two does, over 5,000 acres. And a lot of these areas have a lot of different types of permits and dates associated with them. But so we're looking at here between 1111 and 1115, eight bucks, one doe, 80% success rate for the folks in that particular hunting period. That is absolutely incredible. It looks like it's right during the rut before Thanksgiving. A lot. Of, and the other thing about this data is it might show you about a uh, certain hunting dates you want to be applying for. When you look at these success rates, I'm seeing uh, Chaparral putting out a lot of bucks in December. I'm seeing Gene Howe putting a lot, putting a prime, a lot of primary bucks down that middle part of November. Really good information right there. Very cool to see. Number three, Devil's River. Now, this one's a this one has a little asterisk next to it uh, because we're talking about primary primarily exotics. You can get a you can get a draw hunt application for Devil's River which is way out in West Texas and Val Verde County, I believe, you can go out and hunt an exotic. Look at some of these success rates. 19,000 acres of land, 73% success rate, eight bucks, 16 does. Look at here, between 124 and 127, 28 bucks for exotic animals, 30 does. Between 13 and 16, 31 bucks, 21 does and antlerless. Now that we're talking about 70 plus, 80 plus percent 
success rate in a lot of these time periods. That is an incredible hunt for you to apply for. Go out there and get you an exotic animal instead of paying three or four thousand dollars. Tell your buddies that you went on public land in Texas and got it done. And this would be an incredible memory. I promise you, hunting exotics, free range in Texas, almost nothing better. So let's see, where are we at? Number four. Now this one is probably right up there with Chaparral, but Powderhorn Wildlife Management Area, we're looking at 15,000 acres. And look at these numbers coming out of the location. Between late October, 94% success rate for hunters. 17 bucks. Look here between January for a gun. 17 to 19, 89% success rate. Seven bucks for those. Incredible success rate. Powderhorn is a beautiful area. A lot of animals, a lot of deer. Really cool hunt that you're going to see there. Again, this is a permit draw for specific dates, but look at these deer dropping in late October, early November. 17 bucks, 13 does. And you also see this number here with standby. In Texas, we do a standby. You can actually show up as a standby in case drone hunters don't show up. And look, right here it says number of standby applicants selected. They took six of the standby guys. They got to hunt, even though they weren't selected that year. So if you want to make the drive, show up, see if you can land a standby spot. It might be worth it. If you got the time, you might want to check it out. Let's see, what are we on? Number five, Kerr Wildlife Management Area. So Kerr is around Kerr County, which is in the heart of Texas. I mean, you're talking about places like Fredericksburg, Bernie, all those kind of areas, historical areas. Deer run everywhere, man. They're like ants. Look at some of these success rates. 50%, 46%. I guarantee you, you're seeing a high percentage of animals here. Six bucks, eight bucks to zero does. People are dropping those bucks from 1119 to 1121. Six bucks to no does. You're looking at 112 to 113. Eight bucks out of 10 permits. Well, seven hunters showed up. Look at that. It says eight bucks. Uh, well, they had some standby applicants that were selected. So you're talking about a 46% success rate, 50% success rate, six bucks. Beautiful area, Texas Hill Country at its finest. I promise you, we will not be disappointed for a hunt like that. Now, we're talking about some honorable mentions. You can you can get into that in a, a, a very a lot of different categories. But we're talking about Abilene State Park. You're talking about another central Texas area beautiful hill country talking about high percentage rates they not a ton of permits that they put out but i've seen these numbers higher before but you're talking about 43 percent between december 10th and december 12th bucks are going down one two three bucks 80 percent success rate between one buck and three does during december 10th and december 12th 38 percent you they always abilene always puts out a high successful number of hunters Always worth the look, always worth an application. Last but not least, Guadalupe River, absolutely beautiful piece of property. You're talking about 1,200 acres of pristine central Texas ground. Not a lot of permits go out, but I promise you it is worth the trip. You're talking about 80% success rates, 20%. Seen them that high consistently over the years. If you look back historically, you don't see any bucks on this particular data points. But I promise you, the number of deer that you're going to see is going to be well worth the permits, well worth your time. Now, as we kind of wrap this up, we're talking about permitted hunts. But now you're talking about, you know, other places like uh, where you want to walk in. Now, these are by permits. Some of these hunts are going to be semi DIY type of hunts. They're going to have specific units that you may be able to hunt. They may actually have specific blinds already set up for you to go to. But without, with that said, it's still a public hunt permit. Now, if you want to go to areas where you want to get a tag and go walk in public hunting in National Forest, you got Sabine National Forest, Davy Crockett National Forest, and Sam Houston National Forest, huge areas. Uh, those are primary ones that, that, that I live in and out of. Davy Crockett, they all got good bucks. You can find good bucks in all those areas, but you're going to work for it. Uh, a lot of pine timber, no agricultural areas and things like that you're going to work in areas like that but it is a ton of fun 
walk in DIY, do it yourself kind of thing. Find you a camping area and camp out for a week and go in there and hunt them bucks down. That's basically how it works. So this is a pretty unique opportunity for Texas. A lot of people don't really take advantage of it. So I have a lot of permits out this year, got some points built up. So I'm hoping to draw a few of these public tags and really get out there and enjoy myself next year. Guys, I'm going to include this particular spreadsheet and links to Texas Parks and Wildlife Department application hunts and other years of data points that you can look up. I'm going to include all of this in the description. I encourage you to check it out. Do some research on Texas public hunt and permit draw systems. You can go turkey, all kinds of good things like that. And you can include several people on one application. Applications are only like three bucks to apply for an area. You can throw multiple people on one application. It's a really good system. Texas does an incredible job putting together, putting this together for hunters all over the place. Include everything in the description. Guys, I appreciate your time today. Thanks for stopping, checking out the channel. If you made it this far, do me a huge favor, reach over, hit that subscribe button like leave me a comment let me know if you've hunted some of these areas i would absolutely love to hear some of your success coming out of some of these areas or your feedback or if you're hunting out of state if you got some questions and you're thinking about applying uh you know you could come into town hunt some of these locations for the prescribed date and then stop on the national forest on the way out and do some hunting there for about a week maybe you get double success i mean it would really make a pretty unique trip in my in my opinion so Again, guys, hope you're having an awesome week. Thanks for checking out the channel, and we will see you on the next video. Oh, so long for now. I'm so tired this time. So I'll take a bow and sink in the